Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Well, I asked you guys yesterday if um, I should uh, decoupage this little stool that I have. And the answer was overwhelmingly yes. So we are going to decoupage, which means I'm going to have to iron this. And y'all want so much. <laughs> it's still sticky. I hate to say this, but this paint is not, it's like, can you hear it? It's still sticky. I don't know if it's the weather or the paint. Either way, I'm going to use this one again. I'm going to probably just grab a corner here. Actually, I don't have any left. Maybe I do have some leftovers. That'll be enough. Wait, 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 wait. Instead of cutting up the new one, let's use this one. Margo! 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 Because oh, I... Someone's just having a day, aren't they? It, it could be me. I could be having a day. My husband's got a client here, so she's all sassy butt. All right, I think I'm just going to kind of do a little piece of it. It's stuck. It's stuck to the top. Good goodness sake. Okay. Is that enough? <laughs> I'm going to go iron it really quick and I'll come back and make decisions, but it definitely can't be creased. And I think what I'll do is just have the flowers just coming off the edge and have it distressed out a little bit. So it looks like a little piece has kind of just, trust me, in my mind. <laughs> Y'all know, in my mind, it's working out. All right, we're going to use this piece up. I'm going to take actually both flowers off of it. So I'm going to cut this apart and I want this flower over here to come off one end. And I don't know how it's going to look. So there we go. And then I think I want this one over here. Mm, definitely has to be distressed though. So if you remember from the last video I did and I had distressed this, you can't pull it apart. It's not going to rip. So what I did was I cut into the piece like this to break those fibers. And I'm going to cut around this. I don't want straight lines. Don't want straight lines. Don't want straight lines. Again, I got straight lines down here. Don't want straight lines. Don't want straight lines. Don't want straight lines. All right. So we're going to cut in, break those fibers. And I'm doing this before I sand the piece. So uh, let's pull all those straight edges off there. So now that I've cut the fibers, it's easier to tear. So then that starts being like, you know, that didn't help at all. <laughs> I want these. Okay. Stacy moment. So I watch these other YouTubers and they're like, you know, what I mean? and it works out and it looks so beautiful and I do it and you can't see nothing. I want to be one of those YouTubers that everybody's like, they're so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> y'all I'm not I'm not perfect and uh it shows but we figure it out right 
I don't know why that doesn't work for me. It's also like, you ever see those girls and they wear a poncho and they look chic? If I put a poncho on, I look like I better be riding a burro. It's nothing chic about that. <sighs> Even when I was like young and cute and skinny and all that stuff, I still looked like I should be riding a burro. <laughs> I could never pull that off. All right. I'm going to continue to pull these little fibers so that you can, you can like, buzz up the edges so we don't have these straight hard edges so that it already looks pre-distressed. And then we're going to get this on. I'm going to, I'll come back when I'm ready to decoupage because I don't want you to sit there and watch me do this. Although I could just tell you funny stories. I could just tell you funny stories. <laughs> I went into work today and I, my boss came in and I said, how was your summer? And so we were covered in snow and ice again this morning. So we had like, what, two days of warm weather and now it's winter again. I don't know. We've got a trip coming up. I'm super stressed out about it. Y'all stressed. So I'm trying to get as many of these videos in the hopper as I possibly can. So you're not completely left out in the cold. All right, I'm gonna go do this. Okay, so now I've got the pieces and I've pulled them apart so they're all frayed around the edges. Um, and I've got a small piece over here you can't even see, but I'm going to decoupage them down and then I will show you what I've got. Um, I am doing this before I do any sanding. Did I say that before? Can't remember. Anyway, before I sand anything, I'm going to get these decoupaged down because I want them to sort of blend in with any other distressing that I do. And the reason I pre-distress them is that these fibers do not want to stay down. Like, or um, they don't want to pull apart, stay down. I don't know. I'm like trying to get it to stay down at the same time I'm talking and then I get sidetracked and you know. I'm a mom. I have mom brain. It's also my daughter's 14th birthday today. So she went to archery and I have a little bit of time to get done with you guys. But my, my thought is about my daughter and her birthday, and I'm hoping she's having a beautiful day at archery. I have to trim that off. I don't want to lay down there. Okay. And let's get this one done. And I'm going to kind of... I cut it so it looked like it was going to wrap around the edge. Now, hopefully, hopefully I did it right. This thing is so freaking sticky, though. All right. All right, we gotta let it dry again. Felt like all day yesterday I was letting stuff dry, but here we are again. This has gotta dry before I can do anything more with it. So like it, I could sand the lid, no, cause then the sanding dust is gonna get on there. All right, so that's what we've got now for decoupage. 
And I think I'm going to actually put a layer of decoupage glue over the entire top just because I want, I want it to blend. I don't want to see like where I left the glue off. So if you stop with the glue, even if I sanded it, I think you'd still see kind of a layer of matte versus gloss or gloss versus matte. I don't know. So if I just put an even coat over the whole thing, then when I start to distress, we're going to get the same look throughout the whole top. All right, so now we've got an even coat over the whole surface. And we just let that dry. And there's literally nothing I can do until this dries. Bless my stomach. I had chili for dinner, but I'm still hungry. Oh, for those of you who are wondering if, if I was being serious about the uh, press and seal, I didn't clean my brush yesterday. I'm going to go wash it now when I wash this decoupage brush. It is still as flexible and as wet as it was when I left it yesterday. Been sitting for a whole night and I didn't lose a brush. This stuff is going to save me from having to spend way too much money on brushes. So press and seal, press and seal. It's awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Let's let this dry now. Okay, so I went to pick up the kiddo from archery and let this dry. There's still a couple spots like right here and right there that aren't dry, but I am gonna start distressing the edges. Um, we're gonna have to clear coat the whole thing because this isn't sticky now. So whatever it is, it's the paint that was, that I picked up, it's still, it's just sticky for some reason. Ooh, you can see the pink. Um, I think I'm gonna need a, a stronger sandpaper, but there's pink. Give me some blue. Let's see some blue. Got some pink coming through now. Mm -hmm. It'll be so pretty. Some blue. Oh, I got some blue on the edge here where I did the wax resist. Smart. <laughs> so there's some of the blue on the edge right there coming through. And you don't need to hear me sand for the next 10 minutes because. That's just noisy. So I'm gonna sand, that's the process. Hand sand the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna avoid, obviously, the parts that are still wet. This appears to be dry, so I'll probably hit that with some sandpaper, but I'll just, I'll just distress the whole thing. And then after that, it looks like we'll have to clear it to get rid of that sticky, tacky feeling, okay? Okay, it's starting to get fun. It's starting to look really shabby. Um, this one is still not dry. So I'm gonna have to leave it overnight. Um, I used a lot of I used a lot of glue on it. I wanted to make sure that it was gonna stay put. But I'm gonna go sing my daughter happy birthday and we'll finish this up tomorrow. Thanks for watching you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye! Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week, 
DIY tutorials, and of course, more Junkin videos.